our final topic of the day here, of our 10 topics that we always choose, is, uh, guess what, guys? Steven Spielberg is working on a John Williams documentary. That's right, you heard it from me. This is coming to us from THR. John Williams, the legendary screen composer behind some of the most recognized movie themes of all time, is now the subject of a feature-length documentary with his longtime collaborator Steven Spielberg among those spearheading the project. Amblin Television, Imagine Documentaries, and Ledland Media are in the very early stages of production on the documentary that is being directed by Laurent Buzero. As I said, my names, these names today are going to be fun. <laughs> Boozero, I'm going to call him Boozy. Boozy is a documentarian whose credits include Five Came Back, Natalie Wood, What Remains Behind, and Mama's Boy, A Story from Our Americas. Spielberg is executive producing along with Brian Grazer, Ron Howard, Daryl Frank, Justin Falvey, Justin Wilkes, Sarah Bernstein, and Meredith Colfers. That's so many producers. Good for them. <laughs> Williams, now 90, was expected to retire after finishing Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, being directed by James Mangold. But at a talk with, St with Spielberg on stage earlier this month, Williams surprised his friend by saying that he no longer planned on retiring after that film. Yeah. <laughs> a visibly emotional Spielberg remarked, he better figure out what film he was going to do next then. John Williams says, uh, you can't retire from music. It's like breathing. It's your life. It's my life. A day without music is a mistake. Mm. That brings a tear to my eye, so Raul. Profound. It's so profound. Yeah, this John, man. John Williams just pulled a Tom Brady, didn't he? I mean, I'm, I'm retired. JK, I'm not retired. <laughs> That's crazy. He, he's I'm, incredible. I'm, I'm happy. I'm so happy. I mean, he did say when he was talking about retiring, he did say that he wasn't retiring from music completely. He was still going to compose original works, but he just wasn't going to make film scores. So now it sounds like he's he's going to be he's like changing his mind now. He's so going to do film scores again. Our announcement about that a couple months ago has officially been retracted because the no. man himself has this, has announced he's back. He's not leaving. He's not going anywhere. He never went anywhere, apparently. Mm -hmm. So good for him. I actually looked up the video of him saying all this stuff, and you got to see Steven Spielberg's face when he when he hears John Williams say that, and uh. he's just so happy to hear that. Um, and towards the end, he reminds John Williams again, like, man, after hearing all your news, like, maybe I'm not going to retire either then. <laughs> good for you, Steven Spielberg, because he, he got inspired by his old buddy. If we could have Steven Spielberg till he's in his 90s, dude, I'd be super happy with that. That sounds awesome. Awesome. He's still yes. putting out great stuff. Yes, sir. I mean, hey, if uh, James Gunn wants to announce tomorrow that he's working on a Superman movie with Steven Spielberg, oh, mama, that would be incredible. I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, listen, this is this is awesome news. John Williams documentary, a uh, doc document, ah, documentary. I had a friend of mine who used to say documentary, and it's documentary. It's documentary. It's Raph. okay, Kevin. Words are hard. Words are hard today. And also we're on our 10th topic, so whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think uh, I'm excited about this documentary. It's it's going to be really cool. Um, I honestly love these types of things. It's their his whole biography, I'm assuming, and they're going to teach us a lot of cool things we didn't know about him. It won't be long, Raul, until the next 30 to 40 years when we get to see a live-action movie biopic of John Williams. That's going to be really, really cool. But uh, what do you think, Raul? Any thoughts on all this? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. I think this is amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't been done yet. You know, it's oh yeah, that in like the Stan Lee documentary that'll be coming out. Like these, you know, these are long overdue documentaries. One about Stan Lee, one about John Williams. Like, and of course, who better to pro to be the producer, be the the guy driving this than Steven Spielberg, his longtime buddy and collaborator. Um, this is long overdue, and I cannot wait to 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 delve deep into to John Williams' uh, backstory. There's, you know, there's a lot of he's had some tragedy in his life, so it'll be interesting uh, to see them get into that and, and and explore that a little bit more because a lot of that tragedy he's um, has influenced his music and his writing in, in a very positive uh, and beautiful way. Um, if, if any of you guys know about, uh, about his history and stuff like that. So it'll be very fascinating to see and anything John Williams, I'm there for. I love the guy. I think, I mean, he is my favorite film composer of all time. Um, yeah, I think, so, I think he's uh, mine I can't too. Wait. 
I can't wait for this. Also, a fun fact for all the listeners, and I think, Roel, I think you might remember this. Uh, there's this podcast called called The Soundtrack Show yes. uh, by David W. Collins, and he discusses this really cool fact about John Williams where, you know, there, there's this composer called Wagner, and if you don't know who Wagner is, he's the guy who made, who composed the music that's like, and uh, back in the day, Wagner ended up having a lot of uh, connections to Nazis and Hitler and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy. And Wagner was kind right. of known to be very anti-Semitic. And cut to uh, you know centuries later, you got uh, John Williams over here, who's inspired by Wagner's music, and John Williams just so happens to be Jewish. So uh, it's kind of like a take that Hitler, ha ha. You know, <laughs> we, we're taking our music back, baby. And uh, making something good out of something that could have been beautiful. And it is, the music is beautiful, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I think this was a terrible fun fact. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Another downer. <laughs> Another Dr. downer. <laughs> no, it's never a downer if you're punching Hitler in the face. Well, that's it's always it. good. <laughs> well, it did end on a bright note. With it did end John. on a bright note. John Williams is an incredible composer <clears throat> who was inspired by all these different so resources of music from history. And whether or not they came from a bad place, he made something incredible out of them. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And that's poetic within itself as a, the person that he is, you know.